My name is Lucy Large and I'm a sculptor and paper cutter. My studio is attached to where I live. It's a converted garage and looks out onto the garden. My view is of a couple of fruit trees, so it's pretty peaceful. The studio is lovely and light, often very untidy, which drives me mad, but I hate tidying it and I'm usually rushing from one job to the next. It is a dedicated space for working though, so it feels like an enormous privilege. I feel very lucky to have access to a studio space. I live and work in West Somerset in the village of Broadwater at the foot of the Brendan Hills. It's actually the village where I grew up, although I studied at Art College in Camberwell in London, spent many years there and in the South East before returning here to raise my own children. I've always loved the landscape of West Somerset, and although um, it can be quite isolating living rurally, I've always responded really well to having a lot of physical space around me. My artistic practice has evolved over the past 10 or more years to combine the need to earn a living with the opportunity to explore non-commercial work as well. Commercially, I make bird sculptures using an aluminium mesh, which I sew together using a fine jewellery wire and then spray paint. The material lends itself to the subject matter well, being very lightweight and with no integral armature, the pieces are light and airy in appearance. I also make hand cut paper pieces which get mounted into boxes or box frames and both these modes of working lend themselves well to responding to commissions. In recent years I've also been invited to make site responsive pieces for particular exhibitions. Most recently these have involved using paper and wallpaper to wrap objects and spaces as a way of revealing and concealing. Influences come from all sorts of directions. Conversations with other makers, a brief from a client, the panic of a deadline, or my immediate environment. Sometimes the route from an idea or influence to a made piece is not linear. I might only notice some time later what has informed the process. I chose to take part in open studios because I always enjoy the direct interaction with an audience and the conversations it might allow. This year will be very different, but I'm always happy to discuss work with people even if it has to be online this year.